everybody. It's Michelle, and I've got another fun napkin fold for you guys today. You may have seen my recent video where I did a little orange fish napkin fold, and I told you guys that I had some more ideas to go along with that ocean theme. So today we're going to be doing a whale. I've just got a beverage sized napkin here. You can use a lunch size if you want, but then your whale is going to be really, really large. This is how big your whale is going to turn out after it's folded with the beverage size. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our napkin and we just want to turn it on the diagonal. So you've got a diamond shape here. And then we're going to fold it sideways. We want to get a crease from that point to the bottom point. And that's what you want to focus on is your points at the top and down here at the bottom. The top one is probably more important than the bottom. You're not necessarily going to line up on your points over here depending on how perfectly square your napkin is. If these are off a little bit, that's okay. Just make sure this one up here is right in the center of that point because that one's going to matter the most. So now we're going to open that back up now that we've got our crease. And we're going to fold the sides in right along that crease. I'm going to hold my thumbnail here just to make sure that I get it right on that line. And I've got a good sharp point up there at that top. And then the same thing on the other side. And again, you can see that didn't line up just exactly right down here, but that's okay. That doesn't matter at all. Just make sure this point up here is nice and even right up the center. And now we're going to fold this straight up. Just make sure that your crease lines up. Okay, so at this point we're going to turn it sideways and fold it right along that crease all the way up. Get everything lined up the best you can. And you can see here my front doesn't line up exactly right. I want to even that up a little bit. I don't want that peeking out from behind. Okay, there we go. And now for this point here, I'm just going to fold that under maybe a half inch or so. Try to unfold it and get a little better fold there. Just fold that about a half inch. Same here. It doesn't really matter if they match up exactly, just as long as you don't have one peeking out from behind the other when it's all finished. And that gives him a little flat spot on top of his head. Okay, so now I'm going to come to about right here. And I'm going to fold the tail. I want maybe a 45 between this and where my fold goes. About a 45 degree angle. That looks pretty good. You can just eyeball that. You don't have to be exact. Just whatever you think looks like a good angle for him to flip his tail up there. Now here is the part that I had a lot of fun coming up with. I found some basic well folds on Pinterest, but as always, I'm never really happy with what I find online and I have to change it up and make it my own way. 
And here's what I decided to do here. To make it look like his tail fins are opened out, I'm just going to take a little pair of scissors and I'm going to clip in right along that fold about an inch and a half maybe. And then I can fold one of his tail fins out and just kind of play with the angles until you get it the way you think you want it to look. And I think my pattern on my napkin here helps hide a little bit of these original creases. But if you wanted to, if you're a perfectionist like I tend to be sometimes, you don't want those folds, those creases showing where it doesn't make sense. So you could iron this if you wanted to depending on how much that matters to you. I'm going to leave it just like this because that pattern, like I said, hides it pretty well. So I'm going to take my bone folder and I want to crease that so that the tail fins lay down pretty good. And really, it can. You can fold this one back too if you want it to actually pop up and be a little dimensional. But if you want it to lay flat, Go ahead and crease everything down with your bone folder. And there is our well. I've got a couple of things that I want to add to him. I've got some more of the candy eyeballs from Wilton. And you guys saw me use some smaller ones of these on my little fish. I got some larger ones for my well. And like I said before in the fish video, Depending on what age of kids you've got coming to your party or your event, you can just use a plastic googly eye there if you want to. But with younger children, I'm always afraid they might put something in their mouth. And if they do with this, it's going to be perfectly okay. And even for older children, it'll still be fun to have that little candy treat there as a surprise. So one last thing that I decided to add to my well that'll be a really fun little party favor too, is this little party blower. And I got it in silver. And I'm going to take just the blunt edge of my scissors here and kind of curl those just a little so that they'll curve over and look like water coming out of his spout. open everything up so that I know that they're all curling outward. Some of them I'll just curl the ends and others I'll curl them farther down. This is another one of my little additions to the idea that I thought really just finished it off and made it more like a whale. So that looks like a really cute little water fountain there. I'm just going to tuck that down inside the napkin so that the blower part is hidden and all you see is that fountain coming out of the top. So that's my well napkin fold. I hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun coming up with it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page, and be sure to join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.